Welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2, where a long-awaited feature has finally arrived in the 1.50 beta. Autopilot on freeways is here, along with two other lane-keeping modes. In this video, I'll demonstrate the different modes and how to configure them. For the Autopilot, you'll counterintuitively need to set the Lane Assistant mode to Disabled. I'll explain why, and demonstrate the other modes later in this video. In Control Options, set a toggle key for the Lane Keeping Assistant. This will toggle Autopilot on and off above 35 miles per hour. In this demo, I've got Adaptive Cruise Control switched on and I'm steering manually. After passing the on-ramp, I press the Lane Keep Assistant toggle key and the truck's now smoothly steering itself within its lane and it will continue to steer as it follows the bend ahead. I'm going to let this demonstration video continue for a while. If you'd like to skip ahead to the other lane keeping options, please use the chapter markers. The next mode is Lane Departure Warning, which is always on and simply alerts if you cross a lane line. In this demo, I'm steering manually with adaptive cruise control on, and as I cross the lane lines, the truck makes an audible alert, and it's my responsibility to steer manually back into my lane. The other always on option is lane keeping support, which not only alerts when crossing a line, but also nudges the truck back into the lane. As I manually cross the lane lines in this demo, the system applies steering input to return the truck to its lane. Everyone will of course have their own preferences and opinions about this system, so I hope this video clearly explains the available options. Let's conclude with one more demo video. This clip shows the autopilot lane keeping assistant used alongside adaptive cruise control on a normal road. Even in beta, the system is versatile and reliable. Thank you for watching. Please drop a like and feel free to subscribe for regular sim content. Take care and I'll see you next time.